हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू पार्ट फोर ऑफ बैच प्रोसेसिंग सो एज यू नो दैट आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री दिस इज अ पार्ट फोर फॉर बैच प्रोसेसिंग सो दिस इज अ काइंड ऑफ आई हैव टेकन थ्री और फोर एग्जांपल इन दिस वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट एग्जांपल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ एग्जैक्टली मैक्स कॉन्करेंसी वर्क एट batch level we have a max concurrency at flow level but i'm going to explain how exactly max concurrency work at batch level so as you can see that here we have a max concurrency so what does it mean max concurrency define the level of parallel parallelism how much uh, basically uh, how many number of thread going to process your records so this is how exactly max concurrency define at batch level Uh, we can configure it i am going to show you multiple example for concurrency with different value so you will you will able to see that so as of now as you can see that my first example here i have not defined a max concurrency what does it mean it mean that ki it will run my batch processing will run on full full basically full uh, full use of thread all thread is going to use uh, basically allocated to batch processing and and uh, that max concurrency is also affect or basically uh, is also affect based on the your block size for example uh, you are providing a number of record but block size is basically uh, you providing a kind of bigger than provided number of record for example suppose you providing a 100 record and block size you also providing a 100 what does it mean only one block is created so when only one block is created then your batch will process your record as sequentially let me show you that so i'm going to uh, click on use case number 21 and use case number 21 i am going to provide 100 record block size also is 100 it mean we have only one block and our thread multiple thread are uh, going to process one record at a time from one block so as you can see that we have those record are records are processing one by one first second third fourth fifth sixth seven eight nine ten as you can see that records are processes sequentially okay and so let me yes so as you can see that it is process sequentially let me stop server okay and deploy application again to show you uh, how exactly how exactly the max concurrency or how exactly we can process our record parallelly okay so let my application is going to deploy here yeah, one more thing is that as of now i'm running my application in in basically in any point studio and any point studio run as configuration we have one setting uh, there ki when our application is started then it will always clear uh, application data this is application data is nothing but your app app, app data you store data so every time when you basically click on always so it will delete all queue which created and if you if you selected this option then your uh, then your basically batch resuming will not be possible because when your application is start so first it delete all persistent queue so, uh, so let me yeah my application is deployed Uh, let me show you uh, the second example in this example my all record process sequentially but in this example uh, i have uh, records which basically i have uh, define a block size as uh, second or two block size two and we have 100 record means one block having a two record so there are total 50 records okay so when you have more than more block size then your number of thread will pick one record from each block so that you will able to achieve parallelism so let me send 22 request as you can see that yes uh, our basically in my system there are 18 thread running parallelly so those 18 thread processing my records in parallel so as you can see that yeah so uh, let's finish this batch yeah it is so as of now in my machine there are 18 thread who's taking our records from blocks there are there are 50 blocks so at a time my 18 thread taking each each record from every block and processing in a parallel 
okay so this is how actually uh, it number of block is worked let me show you exact use cases for max concurrency so you might be thinking about why why i have not showed directly max concurrency because i just want to let you know that how max concurrency affect your batch processing so in first example as you can see that block size is 100 so our record process sequentially because we have less number of record and and throughout our best processing there only one block is created in second example as you can see that i have provided a block size 2 what does it mean only one block having a two record if you provide 100 record then 50 block is created and 50 block is created based on the numbers number of thread in my machine so each 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 thread taking up uh, one records from each block but as of now in my machine there are total 18 thread it is not something that keep batch processing having 18 thread it might differ from machine to machine okay and the third example uh, let me show you so as you can see that the block size everything will be same but i have defined a max concurrency as a five what does it mean it means that you are restricting that at a time only five thread going to process your record although in uh, this previous example we have a 50 block and we have 18 threads so as you can see that the number of threads 18 process my request parallelly but here i can uh, basically here i have restricted that only five thread at a time can process my record so you have also questioned that why we are defining max concurrency so for example suppose uh, we are doing some operation here or we are calling any third party target system that target system is not able to take that load or the target system is not synchronized with your batch processing speed means your batch processing speed is very higher but the whatever target system you are calling that is not very synchronized or equal speed as your batch processing is running so we are restricting our batch processing to use five thread at a time and it is another example or basically another use case is also is that you for example in your project there are multiple batch running okay if you're running in a full load then might be other batches batches affected that's why we are allocating this batch as a five thread so let me show you this example uh, use case number 23 so as you can see that use case number 23 i have basically executed so as you can see that yes we have kind of won some restriction we got so only uh, one two three four five five record are processed at a time but previous example as you can see that if we are not if we have not provided max concurrency then the maximum thread executing my record but here in that case only five thread is coming pulling records from block and process parallelism uh, at a time my five records are only processing as you can see that after that so as you can see that 42 44 46 49 and 50 after 50 there are five records how it will possible it is possible because of max concurrency 5 so this is uh, all about from first example let me show you another example yes so another ex example also straightforward okay so what kind of example it is let me show you that so basically in a batch scope you know that batch is a scope at batch scope we have a scheduling strategy okay and there are two types of scheduling strategy one is order sequential another is round robbing so scheduling strategy is saying that you have a batch definition okay you have a this is a batch definition in batch definition uh, you have batch instance what is a what is a what is a batch job and what what is the difference between batch job and batch instance as you can see that this is the batch job but we can call this flow multiple time uh, we can call this flow multiple time at at the, at the same time at same time we can call this flow two times okay so so there there will be two instances created okay so we can call this batch multiple time at the same time so there are two instances or multiple instances created so when one batch having a multiple instance at the same time then how resource or your basically uh, system resource allocated to particular batch instance if at the same time there are multiple instance then how resource allocated so this is also you can define using scheduling strategy order sequential and round robing what does mean in of order sequential based on the create time so what is a create time whosoever instance created first execute first all all record process first 
then the processing of record is done then the another instance executed your records this is the order sequential and this is the default value for batch scope what is the round roaming when you define the round roaming it means that multiple instance is created for single batch so there are suppose uh, suppose we calling this flow from two times so there are record process parallelly at one instance record one process at the same time for another batch instance record first is process order sequential but one batch first instance first job instance done then the second job instance process started this is a order sequential and what is the round roaming at the same time both uh, basically both processing will be running parallelly so let me show you this example yes my application deploy so let me uh, explain again so i'm calling uh, i'm calling a listener this listener from postman and after that i have a scatter gather as you know that scatter gather basically fire uh, basically create a multiple thread and basically call this flow so my scatter gather calling those two flow at the kind of same time but uh, and here i have used uh, basically order sequential so whosoever bad job created first whosoever bad job instance created first process first then first processing is done then another job instance processing will start so let me show you that uh, bad job uh, 23 6 6 23 processing started so first record process second record process third record process fourth record process fifth record process and seventh eight nine and ten record process once finished processing of first then it will basically start up processing of my bad job instance number 50 so 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 this is how actually order sequential is worked so let me change from order sequential to round roaming so as you can see that my records are processed at both job instance record process at the same time so let me show you so record number first process for 41 4v1 stands at the other time at the basically same time my other bad job instance name as 4b0 is record number first process so there are two instances uh, bad job instance as, as you can see that i have print instance id so one instance id name is 4b1 another one is 4b0 so that's how exactly it is working in basically and uh, it basically uh, it is in basically algorithm assigned to available resources so so this setting attempt to execute all available instance of the bad job using round roaming algorithm to assign the available resources but in in case of order sequential it will execute one by one okay so this is uh, basically uh, six hyphen two example let me show you another example so this is a kind of one uh, basically tricks from my side uh, uh, is that uh, for example you have only one job instance okay and that one job instance you're calling from two scheduler flows one scheduler running daily another one scheduler running weekly and you calling a same flow uh, basically you are retrieving a data from one system and also you are retrieving a data from one system so basically you are basically retrieving a report daily report and weekly report data type and structure of data is same uh, for this and also for this so basically this basically will give you a daily report and this should will give you a weekly report so the structure of data is same but the uh, number of data might be different from daily you are getting a less data but weekly you are getting a more data but the one here is the one common thing because whatever data we are getting we are going to process those records in a single batch and this is a requirement so there is a one in uh, basically error is come because you are calling this batch this basically this a same batch from a flow but that's that particular batch belongs in a sub flow, sub flow. so as of now let me i make a stop let me also <laughs> stop so so by default my two flows are stop let me start those two flow and i want to show you what error is coming why we are not able to call a bad job from a, a same or a one bad job from two scheduler or two flow so let me show you what error is coming yes 
So as you can see that we have got error and what error is saying that, uh, this is a basically error is saying that the flow 6 hyphen 26 contain a bad job. Yes, I know that it is a contain a bad job, but another flow also contain a same bad job. Uh, the mules of batch processing 625 flow has already defined such job. So what, what it is saying that it is saying that you have one bad job 25. The same bad job is calling from two flow. So you are not able to call a one bad job from two flow. The same you're not able to call. Uh, so it has happened because uh, because uh, we, are, we are not able to call a same bad job from two flow. But here is a trick if you need to execute daily and weekly report using a single job means you have to define you are defining only one bad job and that play a part of daily report and this is uh, and the same bad job will also play a part of weekly. So if you want to do that, so you have to go to the XML instead of subflow just make flow. Just make flow. Yes. So as you can see that we we have got source and our bad job is flow. <laughs> so let me show you whether it is successfully deployed or not. Yes, as you can see that my application successfully deployed. So we can uh, call a same bad job from two flows, but our bad job should be in flow, not a sub flow. So as you can see that my application is successfully deployed. So this is a basically one trick. Uh, if you might be uh, facing this problem, so you can solve this problem by uh, like this example. The third, the last one is kind of repetitive, but I just I just want to mention that what happened. Uh, we are writing a batch processing, and we are writing a one separate steps, which basically process our record which only failures except policy as you can see that I have mentioned only failures and the most of time it happened that the record this particular batch step is not executing so let me show you how it will happen so it is 25 request number 25 and let me send request on 25 so uh, record number that is failed but other records successfully process so uh, this batch step I just basically uh, put a logger and let me check the logger is printed or not for this one. So as you can see that logger is not printed. So most of the time you might thinking that why this patch is not executing. Because I mentioned this patch as a only failures. And I know that there is a failures occurred because payload, num payload number three or we, we can say the record number third is failed. Because we are trying to convert string to a number. So record number three is failed. But our bad job step which we have written for only error handling is not executed this is not executed because you have defined max thread as zero so that's why it is not executing if you define max thread as minus one or greater than one uh, you know that max that value we can provide zero minus one and at one particular value this is already i have explained if you define minus one then there is one failure or multiple failure your bad step execute your all records so let me send request and let me search that text yes so as you can see that we have got record which failed record number that is failed so this is all about from my side uh, and this is kind of all examples i've created from batch processing this might be a last uh, part for batch processing we will meet in our next video bye